afternoon, I'm Ben Brazier. Welcome to Brazier's post-sale report for the week of October 8th, 2013. It's a beautiful day today in Sacramento, 73 degrees. It was a great day to sell a bunch of cars. And I've handpicked six of them just to show you now. Check them out. Did you see that Dodge Ram 2500? That thing brought crazy, crazy money. You know what? We're gonna go on location now to my brother, John Brazier, who's gonna bring you the most current, up-to-date report in the wholesale automotive industry. John? Thank you, Ben. Yeah, at the sale today, we saw the market continue to trend downward. Uh, since Labor Day, retail sales have been average to mediocre. This past weekend, a lot of dealers had really slow weekends of the lot. Some dealers did fantastic. Uh, but generally it was an average to, uh, to lower end results weekend for most of our retail dealers. And that showed in the lanes. Uh, the right car still brings all the money. The two or three year old car with really great miles uh, is really attractive to most dealers. Um, but the average car that there's perhaps lots of models of in the, uh, in the market uh, tends to not bring much attention. Uh, dealers still do need cars, however. Uh, they're just not willing to buy as many of them or pay as much for them as they have been in previous weeks. John. Hey, John, thanks for that report. Wait, but didn't you have uh, an opinion on the whole government shutdown deal that you wanted to share with yes. us? Yes, yes, that's right, Ben. The stats came out just this morning. 70% of Americans disapprove of the way Congress is doing their job. That means seven out of every 10 Americans think that the government is doing a bad job. My question is, for the other 30% of you, how do you have enough brain power to get out of bed in the morning? I mean, seriously, how dumb can you possibly be? Who are you people that think the government's actually doing a good job at what they do? I'll, I'll tell you what, just do us all a favor and yourselves, go find a bridge somewhere and just jump off. Wow, John, thanks. That report was just beautiful. Now look, I know all of you guys on your calendar, you have it planned to be here already in the lanes this next Tuesday, but we're gonna break and we're gonna go to Rod Davis who's gonna give you some more details on the sale next week. Rod? Thanks, Ben, great job. Next week, we got a great lineup. As always, we're starting off with Ford Credit. They should have about 250 cars in the sale. Got lots of repos, including cars from GM Financial. They're running a new promotion starting next week, running to the middle of December. Every car you buy gives a chance to win a home entertainment center just in time for the holidays. So you don't want to miss that in the C1 lane. We've got lots of other repos in the D1 and the E1 lane, as well as lots of cars from our dealers. Our new car dealer consignment has been strong, so make sure you're here next week. But we don't want you to miss our anniversary sale in two weeks. So make sure on your calendar, Brazier celebrates 64 years of being in business. So in two weeks, we're anticipating 2,500 cars. You don't want to miss it. In fact, Tommy, who's one of our managers here, is cooking his famous tri-tip. We're going to have tri-tip sandwiches on our anniversary sale. So make sure you're here on the 22nd. We'll see you then. Ben, back to you. Wow. You know what, Rod? Thank you. That was very insightful. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week in the lanes. Wow, John, thanks. That was a beautiful report. Thank you. <laughs> wow, Rod, thank you so much. That wow, John, thank you. That was a beautiful, beautiful report. Wow, Rod, thank you. That was very, very insightful. Wow, Rod, thank you. That was incredibly insightful. I appreciate that. Wow, John, thanks. That report was just beautiful. Thanks for